Okay, so we are going to be converting between moles and mass. You're going to need a reference table. You're going to need a calculator. Remember, to go from, now the first part, they're all going from grams to moles. So from going from grams to moles, we're going to divide by the GFM. And when we're going from moles to grams, we're going to multiply by GFM. And you can use your mole math to help you. All right, so the first thing we'll need to do is we'll need to figure out GFM of all these. And thankfully, it's the same compound, so we'll only have to do that one time. So again, to calculate GFM, you look on the periodic table. Sodium is 23. Chlorine is 35. We add them up, and you get a mass of 58 grams per mole. So 25 grams divided by the GFM, or times one mole is 58 grams. So 25 divided by 58 gives you a number. Now if we're going to round to sig figs, we need two sig figs. So 0 0.43. And the units for all these are going to be moles at the top, moles. Okay, hydrogen sulfate, three elements. Those are arrows, sorry. 2 times 1. The mass of hydrogen is 1. There are two of them, so there's that. There's only one sulfur, and it's 32. And there's 16 is the mass of oxygen times 4, which is 64. Add those up. 2 plus 32 plus 64 gives you a mass of 98 grams per mole. So 125 grams divided by 98. Okay, now if we were going to round to sig figs, it would be three sig figs. So 1.2755 to three sig figs would be 1.28 units of moles. Okay? All right, um, GFM of potassium per manganate. Potassium is 39. Manganese is 55. And 16 times 4 is 64 again. So 64 plus 55 plus 39 is a mass of 158 grams per mole. So 100 point, which means three sig figs, divided by 158. 100 divided by 158. To keep three sig figs, um, we're going to do 3, 6, 3, 3, because it was 0.6329 units are moles. Potassium is 39, and chlorine is 35. 39 plus 35 is 74 grams per mole. So 74 divided by 74 is 1. But don't forget, units would be point, or well, sig figs would be 0, 0.0, and that would be moles. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I know that water is 18, so 18 times 5 is 90. Copper, sulfur, and four oxygen. So we've already done that four oxygens before. That's 64 plus 90. Sulfur is 32. This is messy, I apologize. And copper is 64. Okay, so that's 64 plus 32 plus 64 plus 90, which is 250 grams per mole. Again, if you're having problems calculating GFM, please reach out. Let me know. So 35 divided by 250. And we want two sig figs, which is perfect, 0.14. And those are all moles. Now we're going to multiply by GFM. But we already have the GFM. So the first GFM is 58. So 2.5 times 58. 2.5 times 58. And we want... Uh, well, this gives me 145, which if I didn't ask for sig figs, I would be fine. If I do ask for sig figs, this is going to round that up to 150. And the units for all of these are grams. Okay. The GFM of the second one is 98, so 0 0.50 times 98 is 49 which is the proper number of sig figs. The potassium permanganate is 158 grams per mole, so 1, 158, so 1 1.70 times 158. We want three sig figs in our final answer. 
Um, if you didn't have to round to sig figs, I'd accept that, but three sig figs would be 269. Potassium chloride is 74, so 0.25 times 74. 0.25 times 74 is 18.5. Before sig figs, if you're rounding to sig figs, that should be 19 grams. And the GFM of that big thing is 250. So 3.2 times 250 grams per mole is 800. So if we wanted to maintain sig figs, remember you can put a line over this, or you can say 8.0 times 10 to the second grams. Okay, if you have questions, please reach out. Thank you.